It's Young Latin. The girl who joins us to the museum is actually roommates with the married Russian girl. We need a name for her. Let's call her Katya. So the roommate, her story is wild. She drops out of college and starts dating her boss, who by the way, is three times her age. <laughs> I mean, no judgments, no judgments here. So the day before, Katya and I unexpectedly spent the whole day together. We had plans to go to the museum today. And so when I got there, the two girls were waiting for me. The first thing I noticed was that Katya wasn't wearing her wedding ring. That put a permanent pep to my step, considering how well yesterday went. Maybe the ring was a deterrent for creeps. I didn't see any photos of her husband when I stalked her Facebook. So Katya wanted to curate and open her own children's museum one day. The pure joy and excitement she exuded while exploring the museum was infectious. As she took notes and studied certain exhibits, I paid attention only to her. I didn't even flinch when she turned around to discover that my eyes were glued to her. She only responded with eyes that carried a huge grin. Sparks flew that day, I'm telling you. I didn't know what was going on, but it felt like the beginning of a newfound romance. Hours after, we were hungry and decided to grab a bite nearby. Turns out, Katya is a huge meat lover. No dirty jokes here. Yeah. So we sit down in an outdoor restaurant, order some burgers, and the two girls immediately turn on me. For some reason, they started giving me unsolicited dating advice like how to win a girl's heart. Then, out of nowhere, the Latina roommate starts asking me what kind of girls I'm into, and Katya fell silent, intensely observing my responses. When Katya finally spoke up, she was just referring girls who would be a good match. As inexperienced as I was, my first girlfriend did the exact same thing. Possibly to test my interest in her versus dating someone else, I took this as a sign that she's probably into me. Three days passed without us seeing each other in person because I've been busy rehearsing with my dance crew for a show coming up on Friday. Katya and I messaged frequently, me practicing my Russian and her what I interpreted to be flirting with me. I invited her over to my place that night, giving her two options. One, we could take a salsa class, or two, we could watch a movie. She claims she doesn't have any dance clothes, so movie it is. After work, I meet her at the subway station near my house. On the way walking back to my place, she spots a watermelon and rushes over with childlike excitement. She attempts to pick up the largest watermelon she could find and quickly gives up. She looks up at me with a huge pout. I burst out in laughter. We go back to my place with a giant watermelon in my arms. As I was slicing up the watermelons, she watched like she do and made fun of my technique. She teased me often, so I took that as another sign of flirting. We watched a favorite classic of ours, uh, Ip Man, the Wing Chun master of Bruce Lee. She admitted she gets cold easily as we huddled up under a blanket on the couch. So I nervously wrapped my arm around her. I hoped I wasn't being presumptuous. After the movie, she asked me to walk her home. And when we got to the station, she said, uh-uh, a gentleman should walk her all the way home. Of course I said yes. If it meant spending more time with her, we flirted the whole way there. And when we arrived, we somehow ended up on the subject of how I lost a lot of weight from my childhood. I used to be very overweight. She said, I look skinny now. And she lifted up my shirt, running her hands over my flat stomach. Whoa. If you want to hear the next part of this story, or stories like this, like and hit that subscribe button below. And if you have an epic story, leave it in the comment section. I might just make a video out of it. I also want to see in the comments what you would have done if you were in my shoes, or if you've ever been in a similar situation. <coughs> Doubt it. Alright, I'll see you next time. Peace.